Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome back to another Coffee Talk with Tom. So, this little series, guys, is all about the topics you guys, the viewer, sends in to me, and I just try my best to discuss it, my opinions on it, and then everyone in the comments gets telling their opinions on it too. So, after the last video we did for Coffee Morning was the Thai versus Philippine girls, which one's better to marry? So, if you haven't seen that, you can go and check out that one. And today's topic is sent in by one subscriber. I will put the comment up on the screen. I cannot read it from the phone because I'm recording on the phone. It went something like this. Um, I was recently in Thailand and Philippines and I was shocked at the amount of dirty old men that were making out with young girls in their 20s. What are my thoughts on this? So it seems like today we're going to be talking about the age gap because it's quite a common thing here in Asia. You'll see like old white dudes with very young Asian girls. Okay, first up before I start rambling on about this, I want to say we have to generalize, of course, a little bit. There's always exceptions to the rule. But for this video, we're just going to go in general. I mean, like age gaps obviously vary in my opinion you do see a lot more of this behavior in the philippines than in thailand you do see a lot more like like older older guys dating very young filipina girls whereas in thailand you see but i think it's more of a paid thing it's not like a serious relationship so that's the difference between the two first off i would say now for the sake of this video i presume that the subscriber was talking about such a huge age gap so what i'm going to have to say about this for you guys to get some like understanding of it we're going to say the girl is 20 years old and the guy is like 60 year old so like a 40 year age gap a huge age gap and for those saying oh you don't see that often you actually you actually do i was in um when i was in philippines recently myself I was also walking around one of the shopping malls there in uh, Makati called Greenbelt and I was pretty shocked at some of the age difference of the people that were dating. Um, my first thought on this is that I've lived in Asia for a long time. I see it a lot, kind of become used to it, don't really care. Everyone has their own life, they can do what they want with it, right? But. Um, but I do understand as well why like some people m might get like triggered by it. For example, like, I don't know, like some guys might have a daughter who is that young and they think like, oh, it's like disgusting, dirty that this like old guy's been with such a young girl. Initial thoughts of when I like see it as well is like everyone else, you have to kind of think why, why would a like 60 year old and a 20 year old be together it's obviously um value exchange right between the two so like for example the old guy he's getting like a young hot smoking girlfriend on his arm but in return she's obviously getting taken care of money um i, I highly doubt you would ever see any of these girls with these guys unless the guy was not taking care of them completely I mean like buying them what they wanted when they wanted traveling around so they have a good life otherwise why would they really do it do you know I know like there's gonna be some maybe older guys watching this video who are with a super young chick as well but it's like I think most of them will know as well know this you cannot be so stupid to think like oh she loves me with all her heart because like another thing i always think about it as well is like i'm 32 and for example like an 18 year old to me it, I, I think that age gap wouldn't be too bad you guys let me know what you think about that in the comments but like even for me to go with an 18 year old i think like for example, if she goes, oh, let's go out, I want to bring my friends. I even think at 32, what do I want to sit around a group of 18-year-old girls for? I don't really have, like, anything in common with them, you know? They're still a bit immature, still a bit childish. So, like, once you hit, like, your 50s, 
in your 60s, would you really want to be hanging around with 18-year-old, 19-year-old, 20-year-old girls? It's like granddaddy vibes, you know? Um, I just think like you go and eat meals with them and their friends, like you're just going to be sitting there like a bit of a spare, spare tool, aren't you? Like watching giddy 18-year-old girls. Like I, I don't think it's something I'll be personally into when I'm older, but hey, you can never say never. You don't know what happens in life, right? The most common thing um, people are going to say is like, oh, it's just for money or a green card or for money and a passport to get into the foreigner's country. And for, for, for me, I could kind of agree with this statement because what business as well does such a young girl who hasn't started a life, hasn't really started a career, got doing with someone who's old enough to be older than a papa or older than a grandpa so I think I think Philippines breeds more of this due to the poverty of the country um, living here in Thailand you do see it a lot also but like I said at the start of the video it's in Thailand it's more of a pay thing and for me like for me if I see like a really old guy with a young girl in Thailand it doesn't bother me in the slightest because most most of these are around the area I'm staying so it's around the bars around everything you know it's a paid service both are consenting adults right so it's like up to them kind of if you see it here it's it's a paid thing do you know what I mean it's not like um, they they're trying to like marry and stay together for life she just wants that quick money he wants a bit of fun after they both part their ways, she's happy she's got her money. He's happy he's had the experience with the young girl. So for me, if it's like kind of that, I don't really care. There's like no, no problem with it for me. I don't really care about the other way, like in Philippines for the relationship too. Like I said, everyone has their own life, but it's just, it's just a bit more weird for me if like I know they're like really in a relationship and been staying together. Um, Living in Thailand, I hear it all the time about like tourists, especially like female tourists, like Western female tourists. You'll see like the looks, the looks they give these older guys here who are like thinking they're God's gift to women and like, you know, in the bar, the way they'd be flirting, which they wouldn't do back home, but here they can get away with it more, right? And they, they get kind of this like, look of disgust from the like western female tourists and even some of the like uh western male tourists you know like i've heard like young lads walking past like oh look at this old fella with that young one dirty old like that you know but uh yeah it's it's just a common common thing here in asia i see it all the time i've kind of become like used to it I cannot say I agree or disagree with it. Um, like I said, there's always exceptions. Everyone has their own life. But in general, I would say it's a bit strange, depending the age gap difference. For me, like 10, like what am I? So if the girl's 21, I'm 32. Like for me at 10, even, even a 20, maybe a 20 year age gap's a lot as well because then you're pushing, but like 20 year would not be too bad. But I think once you start getting like to 30, 40 plus year age gap is when it starts getting like a bit super weird. I mean, you guys help me out in the comments here and tell me like, maybe you're in one of these relationships and the experience you had or have like maybe there's a few older guys on here that can like chime in and help if they agree or disagree and say about their experience like they've had dating younger girls or being in a relationship with younger girls i mean i know maturity levels differ from girl to girl as well but it's it's a strange one it's a very strange one it was a good topic to discuss by the subscriber Okay, quickly hopping back to the last video we did, the Thai vs Philippines girls. I, I suppose this comes into play with it a little bit as well, like, whereas, like, I personally believe you will find a more, like, genuine Filipina girl, like, not after, say, your money as much. I know we have to generalize a bit here, 
than you will with a Thai girl. So like, it always surprises me then about this in the Philippines. Like, in general, guys, if you ask, this is in general, obviously, not all people are the same, but if you ask girls in the Philippines, like, do they mind about age? Majority will actually say no. Um, which is like a little bit surprising too. Maybe Filipinas in the comments can say how much of that age gap you would have or if like daddy or granddaddy vibes is too much for you. Um, whereas like I've spent time obviously in both countries and when I've asked the girls in Philippines, they don't seem to really mind about age difference. Whereas in Thailand, I, I suppose you could also argue the same, they don't. But you just don't see it as much in Thailand, like um, rela relationships like that. Um, you used to, like when, I feel like when I come here in Thailand like 10 years ago, I saw relationships like that a lot more. But I'm not sure is it just because of the influx of tourists and foreigners that actually stay and live in Thailand. If the girls become wise to, oh, young guys can take care of us and have just as much money too because, you know, like, everyone's working online nowadays and stuff. Uh, so you see more, more relationships of the same sort of age in Thailand. Of course you have, like, older guys with younger girls here, but not to the extreme that you have, I would say, in the Philippines. So that kind of interests me why a little bit as well. Could be the social, the economic situation too. Obviously, uh, the poverty in Philippines is quite more prevalent than in Thailand, which can have a huge factor as well. You know, some, some people just want to find a way out, I suppose, and they see that as their like, opportunity. I cannot say because I'm not a girl, but like for me, For me, when you're in a relationship, right, of course, the, more, the most important thing is their heart and their personality. But also, guys, let's not beat around the bush. You need to be attracted to each other because when it comes time to get it on, you need to, like, desire that person, right? So I cannot really see how a, like really young girls say like 20 can desire like a 60 year old not to say there aren't some good looking 60 year old dudes out there because there are like my grandpa's i think 80 and he looks pretty good for his age you can get away with saying he's like in his 50s or 60s so there are some like handsome good looking nice old guys but i just don't see how they can align with like younger 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 girls because they're just so different in so many ways but obviously like i said there's the value exchange they're both getting something from the relationship so that's pretty much it i think um i think i've rambled i think i've rambled on long enough about this topic i cannot really think of anything else off the top of my head i've probably missed a probably missed out loads of stuff but that's what you guys are here for to help me in the comments i always kind of like to discuss these kind of topics even if they're controversial it's uh it's interesting to discuss for sure because i'm always interested to know what you guys are going to say so guys get writing in your stories i'm sure some of you have friends that have had similar experiences i want to know what the girls think what the guys think get writing your stories below also get commenting what you want us to chat for the next coffee time with Tom and yeah thank you for tuning in we'll see you on the next one ciao